Greetings. My name is Kate Barrett, and I'm the founding program director of the Masters of Science in Occupational Therapy at DePaul University. Currently, we are busy preparing for our accreditation, and we anticipate welcoming our first cohort of students on campus in fall of 2022. I am excited to be at DePaul because I think occupational therapy is a great fit for DePaul's Catholic Vincentian urban mission where we will educate students to become reflective practitioners. DePaul has an outstanding reputation for community engagement and the OT program will build on that strength and create a community engaged curriculum in which our students will be out in the community learning with and from our diverse community members. One of the reasons I came to DePaul is because of its value for diversity. And because we are in a city with so much diversity, we can learn about and experience global work on the local level. In addition, we are developing international partnerships from which our students will be able to work and learn alongside occupational therapists in different countries. A second focus in our curriculum is interprofessional collaboration. Students and faculties will work with, learn with, and do research with members of other professions, such as speech language pathology, nursing, psychology, education, and more. We are also in the process of building out a dedicated space for occupational therapy, which will include a pediatric sensory gym, a family apartment for activities of daily living, small group learning spaces, as well as a state-of-the-art classroom with the technology and flexibility required to promote active learning. I am so excited to be here at DePaul, and I look forward to meeting with anybody who would like to learn more about our program. Thank you. Hello, welcome. We're excited for you to learn more about the DePaul University Masters of Science in Occupational Therapy program. My name is Hilary napier Gundek. I am the Academic Fieldwork Coordinator and Clinical Assistant Professor within the MSOT program. Currently, I am busy building partnerships with clinical sites to develop our fieldwork program. I'm also teaching undergraduate students in the Health Sciences program. One course I would like to highlight is Health 380, Introduction to Occupational Therapy. This course provides students an overview of the profession of occupational therapy and as well as online shadowing experience. I have been raised with a strong work ethic, commitment to service, and being a positive role model. And these attributes drew me to DePaul University. As a longtime Chicago resident, I've had a desire to work within the DePaul community, and now that dream has come true. Through my own fieldwork experiences, I gained interest in fieldwork, teaching, and giving back to prepare the future of occupational therapy. I have a passion for working with others and specifically working with students and clinicians in healthcare and academia. I am excited to learn and collaborate with the many valued and knowledgeable existing programs and departments within the DePaul community. In addition to fieldwork, an interest of mine is the use of visual arts and arts-based training programs utilized within OT curriculums. Also, my primary area of clinical practice is working with the visually impaired and blind community, in which will always be a meaningful population for me. I look forward to welcoming students and the community to the DePaul University MSOT program. Welcome to the Master of Science in Occupational Therapy at DePaul University. Let's start by talking about what is occupational therapy? What do occupational therapists do? We work with people across the lifespan to do the things that they want and need to do through participation in occupation. We promote health and prevent, or in some cases, work to live better with injury, illness, or disability. We are holistic in our approach by not only focusing on the person, but also focusing on adapting the environment or the task to fit the person. We work with people with chronic conditions as well as acute episodes of illness or disability. 
Where do we work? Here are some examples of places you might find OTs working. We work in the school systems, in home health care, in people's homes, in community centers, in hospitals, and in outpatient clinics. In the schools, you might find us working with students with autism or learning disabilities to help them promote their ability to learn in the classroom as well as play with their friends. In home health, we might be working with people who have had a stroke and working to help them return to being able to care for themselves by making a meal or caring for their home. We work in mental health in the community centers to help people live more independent lives. In hospitals, we might work with people after having a surgery to help promote their recovery as well as be safe after surgery. And then finally, um, in outpatient clinics, we'll be working with people to maximize their function at home as well as in the community. The MSOT mission at DePaul University is the, as follows. Grounded in the Catholic Vincentian tradition and urban character of DePaul University, the mission of the Masters of Science in OT program is to prepare occupational therapists to meet the diverse and most urgent needs of the Chicago community and beyond with a special concern for those who are most vulnerable. Grounded in occupation and evidence, students will become lifelong learners equipped with the critical skills necessary to advocate for and improve the health and well being of people living with cognitive, emotional, social, physical, and other challenges in our communities. The curriculum at DePaul University is built on four threads. These threads run throughout the curriculum and each course within the curriculum is attached to one of these threads. The community justice and advocacy thread is the first thread that students will really learn about through their community engagement experiences. They will learn about the critical issues regarding disability, wellness, justice, advocacy, ethics, and leadership within community practice. The second thread is effective occupation-based therapy. In this thread, students will learn how to assess, plan, implement, and evaluate occupation-based interventions for individuals, groups, and communities across the lifespan. Critical skills and leadership Within this thread, students will learn the vital skills necessary to develop a strong sense of identity as an occupational therapist. Finally, lifelong learning is the fourth thread. And in this thread, students will truly become lifelong learners, which involves consuming research, applying that research to your practice for evidence-based practice and promoting the role of occupation um, to create healthier communities and prevent disease, illness, and dysfunction. What will OT look like at DePaul? So we are anticipating accepting our first cohort of 30 students in the fall of 2022. It will be two years long, which is eight quarters, so eight sequential quarters, making up 102 quarter credit hours. We have accessible faculty with our door open policy for students, and we have space specific to occupational therapy to promote active learning, inclusive of a pediatric sensory gym, a family apartment for activities of daily living, state-of-the-art classroom with technology and a flexible layout that will really promote active learning, as well as small group learning spaces. So far, we've hired the program director, myself, Kate Barrett, um, as well as Hilary Napier-Gondek, our academic fieldwork coordinator. So what is fieldwork? There are two different types of fieldwork um, within an occupational therapy curriculum. Level one field work is typically 40 hours to one to two weeks long. Um, within our curriculum, there are three level one field works during quarters two, three, and five. In quarter two, you'll be focused on mental health, 
In quarter three, you'll be focused on children and family. And in quarter five, you'll be focused on adult rehab and wellness. And that matches our curriculum and the courses that you'll be taking. So you'll be out in the community learning about these populations. Level two fieldwork comes at the end of the curriculum. It's two 12-week placements, so quarters seven and eight. And in those uh, quarters, you will be placed in a school system, clinic, hospital, community organization under the supervision of an occupational therapist. What are the prerequisites to get into the program? Um, here are the prerequisites laid out, two courses of anatomy and physiology, and then the next to it are the courses that would coincide at DePaul. Um, a medical terminology course, which is two uh, credits, a sociology or an anthropology course, a statistics course, three psychology courses, intro, developmental, and abnormal. And then it's recommended that you take a kinesiology course and a neurology course. These are not required, um, but they are recommended. In addition, there's 25 hours of observation that we require, and if that's not possible to do in person for a variety of reasons, um, there are online modules that you can watch or you can enroll in the Introduction to Occupational Therapy course, um, which covers those hours as well. So here you can see the MSOT curriculum eight quarters long, fall, winter, spring, and summer, sequential. It's a cohort model, so everybody takes the same courses at the same time. Some courses, the, the cohort will be split into two, and uh, that's for the labs. And then I'll talk about problem-based learning in the next slide, and cohorts will be split into smaller groups of, of 10 or fewer students for the problem-based learning. So we've really taken an active approach to learning. We are going to emphasize application of learning in the classroom. We have opportunities for simulated learning, which will oftentimes be interprofessional in nature where you are participating in a simulated learning activity with speech language pathology and nursing, perhaps in a hospital room. Uh, with a simulated patient, which could be a mannequin or it could be um, a person acting uh, like a patient or client. Students will also be very involved in community engaged learning with opportunities to be learning in the community just about every single quarter in addition to the fieldwork opportunities that they have. And finally, problem-based learning, which is where students really start thinking like clinicians and they work in small groups uh, with an instructor or a professor or a, a therapist um, to work through cases, ask themselves questions about what they don't understand, go and find that information and bring it back to the case. Um, so that's problem-based learning and students really enjoy that applied learning. We also want to emphasize holistic education within the curriculum, which means you are a whole person. You are not only a student, but you are a family member, you're a friend, you might be an employee. So we ask you to bring your whole self to the program. Bring your thoughts, your experiences, your wisdom, as well as your questions. We are building an inclusive pedagogy, which means we have all types of teachers. The community members are our teachers, people with disabilities are our teachers, our clients are our teachers, as well as scholars and practitioners from all over the world. So we recognize that we have a lot to learn from many different people. And we welcome all kinds of learners and seek to attract diverse cohorts so that we can all learn from each other's diverse experiences. I encourage you to contact me with any questions you may have about our program, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.